You've made the time for them, and I know you can, because you make time for eight-hour role-playing video games. You make time for five hours of basketball. You make time. When you have to make time, you make time. When you have to cram for an exam, you stay up the whole night. You do. And I even argue, please listen to this carefully, I even argue the sin of missing Fajr doesn't happen in the morning. The sin of missing Fajr happens when you're staying up at late night. Because you already know you're not going to get up and you stay up anyway. You know what's happened the last thousand times. When you're up that late, you're not going to get up for Fajr. And you still choose to stay up late. You've just missed Fajr intentionally. You can't say to yourself when you wake up at 9 a.m., Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I was asleep. I couldn't help myself. No, actually, that was on purpose. Because you purposely, knowingly stayed up to the point where it's physically impossible for you to get up in the morning. Even if your mother's kicking you in the stomach, nothing, ma nothing makes a difference to you. You know? Now, and this is very real, guys. You have to stop kidding around. You have to stop having conversations about, you know, when, is the, when the Dajjal comes, I'm going to try to kill him. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be, you know, I can't wait till the black flags are raised and the army of the Mahdi. And, yeah, dude, pray Fajr first, man. <laughs> you know? Pray Fajr first. Go to Isha Ibadat, guys. And we're living in times, subhanAllah, New York is very blessed in many ways. It's, it's a very not blessed in many other ways, but it's very blessed in many ways. And one of those ways is, subhanAllah, you have great halaqat, steady circles, programs, seminars, classes, speakers, scholars, so many masajid. There's so much education going on in New York. It's really cool. It's great. It's not happening in much of the country like this. Not at this rate. So you're very fortunate to have that. But you know what the danger with that is? That you start glorifying learning and you start undermining worship, ibadah itself. Right? And fundamental ibadah, Fajr Isha, young guys, young men in the audience today, Fajr Isha. You have to get that together. You have to get that together. And if you care about serving this deen, if you really care about serving this deen, then you will want to make better Fajr and better Isha. And the way to do that is to start memorizing as much Quran as you can. As much as you can. 